Hey guys, it's Dave. Welcome once again to the Christmas Extravaganza. Um, as you can tell this year, I've decided to do something a little different. What? No, no, sir! I don't think so! This is my thing! Who is this guy? Who is Iron Man Faggle Dodge? Because I just wanted to uh, take a break from some of the silliness um, that we've had a lot of fun uh, with for the last few years and read to you uh, one of my favorite stories um, this Christmas. So. Here we go. Once upon a time. Hey guys, it's me again! Do you know if this guy thought he was going to sabotage with his mind my Christmas? No, it's my Christmas, not his! <laughs> I want to sing some songs for you this year because you want it and I'm gonna get it to you. Here we go. They did a song that's a new one. I want to give you guys a little break from the old songs and play some new hits in old hits and new songs. Last Christmas I gave you my heart a 20th birthday to give it away. Little I wanted to do to give it to someone better. <laughs> this song is makes no sense to me. How did you, as a man with another woman, for Christmas Eve, give her your heart? Why is it the black market? She is coming for your heart. Maybe he is like the new vampire movies, the Twilight movies. Maybe he's a dead man. He's just giving her heart, like Edward from the movie. Do you know those movies that the book? I love that song, but it's scary and it's dark. Do not listen to it for Christmas. Although the video is very awesome. George Michael, I think, just now bouncing around. <laughs> The second song. Do you guys know one of my favorite artists? Her name is Mariah of Carey's. Oh, she's so beautiful. She used to call me all the time on my cell phone and say, hey, let's get together and have some coffee and just talk about life and love and liberty and pursuit of happiness. And I would say, no, Mariah, I am taken. I cannot be that like that to I will never be that for you. And, uh, but she did write a song after I sang out of it like this. All I want for these mighty Jews. Which confused me because Mariah has tons of money. She might as well have a bank called Mariah of Carey's Bank of trust and trading some bonds. Because <laughs> she has a ton of money. And yet, what did you want for Christmas? Juice. Why would you want juice for Christmas? You can have juice any time of the day. Some juice that I love to ask. Well, let me tell you. Let me tell With a pound sort of blueberries juice. Guava juice, apple juice, blueberry juice, orange juice. I love orange juice! Have you ever been to California or Florida and got some orange juice? <laughs> Squeeze it from the vine. It's so good and chocolate milk juice. That was my favorite. <laughs> I love to drink that one. Uh, the mouth, I think. Yeah, the mouth. <laughs> hey guys, what are you doing? You want the mouth on? <laughs> Let me play some for you. This is a song I had to sing in the Little Mr. Christmas Man of the Year Universe competition when I was 14. It goes like this. We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Oh, bring me some finger pudding, so bring me some finger pudding, so bring me some finger pudding and have a happy Christmas. Think about it too. <laughs> Sorry. No, I'm not. I'm a, I'm a amazing guitar player. But I wanted to tell you this. When I sang that song on the stage, I remember looking over at Mr. Nubitron, who was from the uh, fourth grade recess class, and he was like looking at me weird. He said, The lyric is not fingers pudding. And I said, Well, your tie is on backwards. <laughs> he wasn't, but that's all I could come up with in my small infant man when I was 14. <laughs> so much has changed since then. But at that time, I remember saying, don't tell me what to do, and then I went home and I read that the lyric is not fingers pudding. But do you know what is funny? I want to eat some fingers pudding, because I was so, so interested. What is finger pudding? Let me have some! <laughs> There's a finger nails in it? Is it real pudding? Is it real fingers? At that point, I didn't want it anymore. <laughs> Isn't that a funny story? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> okay, maybe not so much. The next song is 
And so long, I've always been confused by it when my mother was singing in church in choirs, and uh, she had a beautiful robe that was full of sequins, and she would bring it home, and the children would cry. All of us would get little Constantine. He would get scared of the sequins. <laughs> and we said, don't get scared. He's like, you don't get scared, man. You're not the both of me. But I was because we actually worked together. But this song went like this. Good Christian men with joy, and hearts and nose and bows. Give me some of what you have, and then I'll bring it back to her. But who is Joyce? I remember I would say to my mother, who is Joyce? And why are these Christian men with their good Christian men with joy? That's a little weird, right? There's a harlequin, a girl of a woman of the night in the church. She would hang out with other Christian men, which is kind of good because Christian men are good men. But you gotta watch a rock fan! None of it on the red light! You know, the, the police. Police never die. Oh! <laughs> Crazy, the third song. Okay. Chevnoth roasting on an open line. Jack Frost naming at your nose. You know, I had to ask everyone that ever sang this song Who is Jack Frost and why are you crazy letting him in your house? <laughs> oh my god, if he's naming at your nose, you should have no self defense. You can chop him in the neck through a neck bridge break. I learned that one in Krav Maya, which is an Israeli type of fighting I'm very, very good at. <laughs> it was a gift from uh, my mother last Christmas. But Jack Frost, let me give you a little lesson. Come in here a little closer. If you come to my house this Christmas, I got a little something waiting on you. A little knuckle sandwich. <laughs> There's no meat in that one, just the knuckles. <laughs> Stay away from this note, I need it for pictures. But seriously, thanks so much for hanging out this year, guys. It's been a Christmas time in December, and I'm hanging with my band. Come on on and sit around the fire, and we'll talk about Christmas again. <laughs> Love you guys. See you later. And that's how a young boy from Sweden and a single snowflake became. Best friend. Best friend. <laughs> Every year this is... Anyway. Their names, you ask? Frosty the Snowflake and Santa Claus. Woo! Got through it. Um, the lesson, you ask, as we all do after you hear a story like that. What's well, this? When we judge others, we indeed judge ourselves. So remember that this Christmas, thanks for letting us do something different. That we all had a good time, didn't we? <laughs> so, we'll see you next year.